it No gunshots, but they getting Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another video on MAFM V2. Just uh, opening up this field right now, or this section of the field, and uh, getting it started. Um, I got uh, multi-fruit working, so we can combine the soybeans now. Um, Unfortunately, sorghum is not added into the multi-fruit version. Uh, it never was added, so sorghum we'll have to hold off on for now. So I think we'll just put in uh, either some beans or wheat, or you know, we'll add in some other crop uh, in in uh, in the place of the sorghum, which kind of sucks. Uh, I know I had a combine that would, you know, work with sorghum, but I can't remember what combine it was. Eh. Still dropping straw. Let's see. We'll go ahead and unload here. So in the last video I asked uh, if what you would rather see if you would see like to see round bales or square bales um, and I also s set up a YouTube card for that which basically in the video uh, up on the top right corner of the screen a little circle with an eye and it'll pop up and it uh, I put in the poll poll there so that way you guys can vote uh, and then I also said you know just comment down below in the comments you know of what uh, Baylor so if you did not see the last episode or did not uh, you know leave me a comment saying what kind of um, Baylor you'd like to see make sure to go do that uh, I also as you can tell I got the no collision camera oops we're driving over a little bit there uh, I got the no collision camera in so we are set to go. I also uh, got the time fast forward mod so that way we can grow the crops a little faster uh, for when we do start growing crops. So yeah, next season we'll be able to do uh, oats, soybeans, sunflowers. Uh, we'll probably do just those three or something. Or maybe we'll do like barley or canola or something in replace, or in the place of the sunflowers. Um, we'll see. See what happens. So this section is a very large section. Not larger than that corner there, but that one there is. That one is the biggest of them all. Has definitely a large section. Alright, so we got three headlands on each end, so now we can just keep on cutting. Let's just go ahead, well, let's get to the end of the field first, I guess. And we'll go ahead and check on the uh, 1206 over there. And see how he is doing. Um, so this is your Sunday video. Uh, and tomorrow we'll... Um, let's see, I'm going to make come up with like a schedule for next week, uh, between today and tomorrow. And I'll make a short little video showing you guys that schedule because uh, I'll make it on Google Sheets or Google Documents or something um, but you know I'll f incorporate FS13, FS15 and American Truck Sim and then maybe every once in a while like throw in a um, a Giants Editor video or something like that you know like maybe in a week I'll do two FS13, two FS15 
two ATS and then one um, one Giants editor video maybe um, we'll see I'll come up with something and do a short video either uh, today Saturday or you know the day that you're seeing this video um, Sunday and you know by the time you see this video I'll have already come up with a schedule so this wheat is definitely yielding very well we'll already have a second truckload to go out uh, once we fill up the combine here uh, that's good enough because it's gonna fill the truck no matter what this truck only needs about around another 8,000 liters to be full so okay let's go ahead and check on this guy he's actually almost done I did remake the course because he was acting very dumb so I set it up so that way he did the up and downs first and then he'd go around three times doing headlands so he's got four passes of uh, normal stuff left and then another um, three times around the field so just make sure I set that to go yes I did okay let's get out of here with this load of grain so that's another 38,763 heading to the bins Yeah, so I fired up a like a test save game of this and uh, I bought a planter and planted you know strips tiny strips of oats soybean sorghum and sunflowers and I could combine everything except for the sorghum so and then I made sure that I could combine the existing soybean field and I could so we are all set uh, so once we finish the wheat we can go over and combine the beans and then that'll be a wrap on our harvest season. So I think if we leave the truck like right there, we should be fine. get it so it's dropping some straw here there we go ah I was too late in that there we go <laughs> I was trying to get it to drop before I started going again so yeah so we'll be switching between uh, this map and Clover Creek next week um, and then of course ATS so we'll be doing some trucking We are f nearly 50% full just from that little bit. That's ridiculous. Okay, so I need to take a brief pause and then I will be right back so okay and we're back there we go just had to run and eat
so once we hit the end of the row, if we're not full already, which I have a feeling we probably will be, then we can unload the truck. But, uh, like I said, I have a feeling that we'll probably be full before we reach the end. Just a hunch. If not, we're going to be really, really close. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna be close. Not as close as I thought it would be, but still pretty close. <clears throat> Let's go just whip around here. And truck I should be going on his rounds not quite he's got one more full pass left and of course I will have to drive around and fix stuff go figure <laughs> if only it would just be that I had to fix these corners but instead I have to fix strips in between too it's kind of annoying um, I'm gonna look see what the controls are for this L. Huh. Is it walking speed then? Huh. I guess I forgot to put that one in there. I thought I had the mod to w be able to walk faster and run and whatnot, but the uh, player speed or whatever it was. I know what we could do. Let's go like this once. Uh, turn on zoom. You can use the following camera and watch that guy a little bit. It's kind of neat. I remember having that before. Uh, that player camera or the following camera mod and uh, I remember using it one time with course play you know, I had course play I think I had it running my uh, chopper wagons uh, while I was <coughs> um, while I was running the chopper and then I had the wagons running on course play back and forth between the pit and the chopper and I remember uh, using the follow camera, following camera mod to watch the tractor as it went.
think this round we're not going to be as lucky though. I think we're going to fill up on this round here before we can make the end. We're 80% already. And the other one we were 80% when we were near the end. We're not quite near the end yet. close but I'm just gonna keep driving till the straw quits <laughs> there we go oh it's unrealistic to drive over the crop but <clears throat> just making it so the straw cooperates a little bit oh I'm so close there we go miss that So after this episode, let's see, so after this episode is done, I will finish this section and then I'll combine, you know, I'll open up that section and do a few passes and then we'll do one video on just only wheat harvest and then not the, uh, not the next video after this, but the video after. Then we'll finish off the wheat and um, uh, finish off the wheat and then get started on the beans. And in my video schedule, each week I'll add in, you know, what the goal is for each video, what I plan to do in each video. So that part I won't show you guys because. It will kind of just ruin the video, but um, <clears throat> I will show you guys, you know, the schedule of, you know, what what's going to be up when, and then if you like certain series, you know, like let's say you like 15 and don't really care much for 13, then you know what days to watch, or if you like 15 and ATS, or you know whatever. I saw there was some deer in the trees over there. So this time we'll have to bring the truck up here. I did not... I was going to go re-download GPS and see if I can figure out uh, what the deal is with it. Uh, I, I know that the 13 GPS 
was more or less the same as 15s. You know, like, you know, it had the display over here that came up and all that stuff, so... I know there's a version out there, I just gotta find it again. Okay, so we need to back up. And spin around. So yeah, this guy's on his final round, so he should be close to done. And actually, we can just stop him and reset that. And we can run it a little bit. So now this guy will sit for a little while because the wheat field we will not be tilling uh, for a while so and this thing sure guzzles fuel like crazy I think it's used like a hundred liters of fuel already. Well, since we filled it, I mean, it's used. I forget how much this thing holds now, like 120 something maybe. So it's used a full tank pretty much and most of another tank. It's a fuel guzzling beast. Once it hits 26 liters is when it says, okay, I need fuel. Fill me up. So this guy can actually go to the bean field once it's done here uh, and wait because that'll be the next field that we till. So we'll just go for a little drive to the other end of the field here. We'll just get this tillage finished off and then this guy can go uh, sit for a while and then once we uh, get the combine over get all the combine and the truck and pick up over to the bean field then we'll fill this guy with fuel because we'll have the uh, fuel trailer over there then Which the amount of fuel that it has right now will last it long enough for us to finish here and get it over to the other field. So, but it it definitely guzzles fuel like crazy. So you got two strips and then the uh, corner here, and that's all for the corn tillage.
All right, there we are. We're done. So we can run over to the other field with this guy and park him. So I just want to look. Somebody said this tractor would not run this. Uh, and needs 170 horsepower and this is 113. So yeah, I guess it wouldn't really. But it does. So we're using it. If it was real life, it wouldn't run it. But it's not real life. It's just a game. So it's working. We'll use it. Boy, here we go. Through the water. Alright, and we'll just set that down on the ground. Shut that guy down. And get back to harvest. Should be nearing the end here. Yep, two minutes left. <clears throat> See, like I said, uh, off camera, I'll finish off this section. Uh, this is the last section that we will drop straw on. And then that section, we will put down chop straw. Uh, so then, I'll finish this section, get that section opened up, and get some combined on it. And then, um, in the next video, we'll be working on combining that. So, and I'm sure we'll have to fill the combine up with some fuel here after a while. We're definitely Definitely using up a lot of fuel. Let's see how many liters of fuel we've used. Finances, statistics. Fuel usage, 1,275.3 liters of fuel so far. Uh, played six hours. That's not right. There's no way I played that long. Whoopsie daisy. Wrong cruise control button. I hit three instead of two. My bad. Um, harvested a total of 16.6 .6 hectares. Haven't seeded anything. We've driven 57, almost 57 and a half uh, kilometer or miles, I guess. See, now that's miles, but the rest is not. Beefs, pigs, cows. Cool. 296, 218. We got 84,376 liters of wheat stored already. Let's see. Soybean is 1808 at Quaker Oats. 1755. Hmm. Kind of sucks that you can't see all of it, but. Really, with the crops that you can't see, you just kind of pick an elevator that, you know, if it takes it, haul it. That's what I do a lot of times. And it usually seems like the multi-fruit crops are like, at least in, excuse me, at least in 13 here, the multi-fruit crops seem to always be worth more than the standard crops. But... In 15, that's sometimes the case. I know usually, like, sunflowers are worth a lot more. But, anyway, guys, um, like I said, I'll finish off this section, get a good start on the next section, and uh, I'll get that schedule figured out, or the, you know, what I'll upload when kind of thing. And, uh, <clears throat> then I will make a quick video on that, and uh, by that time, you'll have already... See, by the time you see this video, you'll have already seen that, I'm sure. 
But, uh, yeah, so, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule throughout the week. My There's also links down there for my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thank you so much for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.